this is my Prusa i3 build I've just had to pull apart and readdress an issue I missed which is on my Z axis this little M5 nut was dislodging from the uh, X axis carrier now of course under good advice I didn't put this spring on and another M5 nut on the top there so this will allow this nut to seat up inside under tension from this one so we're going to wind this nut down compressing the spring and lodging it in I'll show you that in a second on this side you can see it's fully secured in both ways all right so what we do is we tension up this one here as tight as we can forcing the whole spring down inside as you can see and we're going to keep tightening up that nut until it pulls right down inside and we're going to tighten up this nut as hard as we can on the outside and there's only a small five mil or so seating space in there and we'll release it and the tension will be about the same then we'll extend the rod just by turning it up 100 millimeters from the end and 100 millimeters from the holder to the end on both sides so it's almost perfect given the rod cut length might be up by half a mil and that will do for leveling the uh, x-axis Compressing the spring, and we're going to compress it down as hard as we possibly can. Right, so this gives an idea of how it's going to work. That'll be tensioned up. I'm going to tighten it down further until it, it's loaded right up. Then I'll wind this nut up, and it will pull itself into the hole when I release it, and they'll both be sitting under tension. And the, the spring will be slightly uncompressed, but only by about a third. Right, so that's pretty well compressed. We can pull it down and seat it into the hole. Once it's seated in there, then we'll just twist this one up till it's lining up with the hole. Then we'll let it go and they'll both pop into place. So I'll just finish that off with two hands. Yeah, so the top one has disappeared in. I can pull the rod down as hard as I possibly can to fully tension up the spring and then just tighten this one up. Here we go. It's fully compressed up into the hole, and this one here is just seating into place now. So we just line that up, give it a bit of a wiggle and a bit of a push, and that's in. So this is just the nut on the bottom. This one has a large spring pulled down heavily on the tension, and they're, they're held together. Now I can reassemble. And have everything working. In the background you can hear a chorus of cicadas laughing at me because I didn't do this but right first time. There we go.